This is your favorite Murtid live once again. And today, <laughs> I'm laughing already, man. I'm laughing. I'm so sorry that I'm laughing. Even I started because somebody shared a video with me of Mufti Mink. Uh, I hope his name is Mufti Mink. Let me verify. Is, is it Mufti Mink? I hope it. Yeah, he is Mufti Mink. So, anyhow, and Oh, brother Steve Hussein, how are you, brother? Woohoo! Favorite Murtad. Hey, Amen. Brother, his name was uh, Mufti Mink, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so Very I was well not known. wrong. Very well known. Yeah, I, I was I was confusing him with another guy. But yeah, Mufti Mink. I know. So somebody sh shared a video with me of Mufti Mink, and I was like, man, this is a gold mine. I just could not stop myself. I just could not delay. And I just opened a live stream in a 15 minutes notice because guys, this is a gold mine. <laughs> Hussein, I have shown you the video. What do you think? Give, give you a summary, a little summary. Like, what do you think of this video? Hussein. It's amazing that you're seeing the house. The house is crumbling because truth is again the truth and it's coming in, exposing the truth, and we're just and our brother Steve has a bad internet or he's he borrowing from his neighbors because we cannot hear half of what he's saying. Okay, so maybe he will definitely come back. Not maybe he will definitely come back, but Mufti Mink is going to tell us today. <laughs> he's going to tell us what the seven ahruf are, what the sub ahruf are. And guys, before I play this video, as a Muslim, all my life I have been told that Quran is preserved 100% harf by harf. Quran is preserved 100% harf by harf. That is the narrative that I, that I was taught since childhood. That it is the word of Allah which is preserved without a single change in a letter or a zubber or a dash or a dot or anything. Now, after the polemics of multiple people, they are bound to change the narrative, Brother Hussain. Well, you know, it's like, um, you know, like I was saying, you know, I think I was cut off there. But, uh, you know, it's like we're watching because the truth is coming in. The truth is coming in. They can't stop the truth from coming in. And, and we're just watching the house crumble brick by brick. It's just collapsing. And watching this guy right here. I feel so sorry for him because he's trying to catch everything, trying to keep it from going down. But listen to him. He's helping the collapse. He's accelerating the collapse with the stuff that he's saying. Mr. Disaster said, Quran is preserved by Hafs and Warsh and Kalu. No, brother. Today's video, you are going to love it. So stay with us till then because we are going to go through everything and we are going to go through the ahadith that he is narrating but not giving the reference. So I'm going to show you those ahadiths as well. You are going to love it. So now let me, without any delay, let me start the video. And Hussein, wherever you want me to pause, I'll pause. And let's see what he has to say. And it is hilarious. At the same time, it gives all the Muslims anger that what is this guy saying? But this guy is saying the right thing. He is saying the right thing. Jai, if you want to come up, let me know. This guy is saying the right thing. Yeah. Check this out. What are the Qira'at? I've heard some atheists say there are seven versions of the Quran with extra words or different pronunciations. Therefore, the Quran isn't preserved. Is this true, Sheikh? First of all, there are seven Ahruf. And these are different from the Qira'at. Ahruf are the ways that the Qur'an was revealed 
in. Okay. He first made a distinction. <clears throat> the distinction that I have been debating with Muslims who comes up and talks with me on this. There are multiple debates that there is a difference between Aharuf and Kira. And he initially to begin with, he made the distinction because he knows Arabic and he made the distinction that Aharuf and Kiraz are not the same. Yes. And Aharuf is the way Muhammad received the Quran because Aharuf is actually words, letters and words. Yes. Let's go forward. You know, can I say something, Adam? That yes, brother. yes. I just want to say something about this Aharuf situation. Aharuf in English is modes. This is the modes of the Quran. You know, Kira'at is recitations. Aharuf is the modes. And what's interesting about the modes is how they came about. What, you know, just I just want to say real quickly, there's two situations in the Hadith. One is with uh, Ubay ibn Ka'ab. One is with Umar ibn Khattab. They heard somebody in the mosque reciting a, chap a surah differently than what they learned. Both of them grabbed the person and took him to Muhammad and said to Muhammad, hey, listen how he's reciting the Quran because it's different from the way you taught us. And then Muhammad said, let's listen. And he heard the first guy and then he heard the second guy and they were different. They were different, just like Ming here is trying to explain. And, and in both times, with Ubay ibn Ka'ab and with Umar, both times, what the guys said was different from the way they had learned. And so Muhammad said to Ubay ibn Ka'ab and he said to Umar ibn Khattab, he said, you're both right. You're both hey man, you're both right. <laughs> and you know what's interesting? That's when Muhammad said, uh, finally told everybody that there were that he got the Quran in seven ahruf, in seven modes. They, he didn't say nothing about it before then. He said it right then when the, when the problem began to be identified. Why didn't he tell them before? Why didn't he tell them before that there's seven different Qurans? You know, Obey ibn Kaab when he when when Muhammad said that he said shak dakhal fi nafsi doubt entered my soul and i hadn't had that kind of doubt since the time of the jahiliyyah he uh, he almost left islam and then what happened is muhammad hit him on the chest you know and so you know why didn't muhammad say something about these seven uh, these seven modes before he didn't say it until the problem started appearing which shows you that he was just making this up as it goes all right just to clarify Jaya fixed us. He said his name is Sheikh Asim Al Hakim, not this Mufti guy. Mink. So okay. this guy, his name is Sheikh Asim Al Hakim. So anyhow, <clears throat> let me go and play this video for the time being, and uh, we'll watch what he says, and then we will talk about these hadiths and what hadiths you are uh, talking about. I'll gonna show these hadiths as well, and no choice, just watch, learn, and when when. I will show everything after that come up live and talk right now. It's your time to learn. So if you come up and talk and you have not watched anything, do not tell me that time that I was not watching. So if you want to come and talk, watch, learn so that you would have everything to refute. So learn the points first before you come up and refute. No choice. Now let's see when he says the recitation, the kera and aharuf are different. What does he mean by aharuf? Check this out. Where the some words may differ, though having the same meaning, or some words may differ, having an alternative meaning that adds more value to the verse. It, Adam, now you know, you guys, you gotta, you know, understand. We were taught in school that the Quran is perfectly preserved from the Loh al Mahfud, from the preserved tablet. Not one word, not one dot, not one vowel, not one consonant 
can change because of the Quran 15:9. Allah says, Inna that Allah preserves the Quran from any change. What this guy is saying right here, right now, is that there's different words with different meanings. You know, that means somebody lied to us. Somebody somewhere lied to us. Perfect. Now, check this out. And this is the reality. Check this out. Now, the Prophet himself said to us, as Islam, that Jibreel came to me, the archangel, and he gave me the Quran in one harf, in one way. It's not a, a dialect. It's not an accent. It's a way. Remember, it's not a dialect. Dialect is Kera. Dialect is referred to Kera. So it's not a Kera. It is not a Kera, but rather it is a different way. So how does he explain the way? Check this out. Like even Mas'ud says, when you say to someone, uh, come or uh, uh, get here. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy's explanation. Come or get here. Two Come different haroof. Now, what we have been taught since childhood before 2015, before the holes in the narrative, before Hatun Tash showing 37 Qurans, before all of this, just go five years back. Just go five years back. No Muslim scholar would ever say this. Every Muslim scholar, including Arab scholars, including Zakir Naik and everyone, not a single dot, not a single herf, not a single letter, not a single dashes. Nothing has been changed. And what did he say? Come or get here. To yeah. Different. Adam, Adam, if I can, if I can show when you get a chance, I'd like to show some videos with Ahmed Didat on. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. Right now, sure, right now, sure, right okay. now is the time, brother. Okay. Sorry, because man, sorry, many X J Y. Sorry, I got excited and I started shout. I, I, I'm this excitement because, dude, these were the things that when I read the Quran, which was my rock to stand on actually became a pile of mud and i could not stay as a muslim now this guy proved what we have been saying i have been saying from the last two years three years two years approximately this guy just confirmed and affirmed that quran does not have the exact words that might have been taught by Muhammad because come or get here. They are two different words. The meanings are same. Yes, yes, the meanings are almost same. But that was not the narrative of Quran. The narrative was not a word, not a herf, not a dash, not a dot, not anything was changed. And it is exactly the way it is told by Muhammad. Now, how do you know it is exactly the way it was told? Did Muhammad said come or did Muhammad said get here? Did Muhammad said kabiran or did Muhammad said kasiran? You know, kasir means many, kabir means big. So will Allah give you a big punishment or will Allah give you many punishments? So there are so many issues with that. Once again, what we have been told since childhood is altogether different than what he just said. He just destroyed, he just destroyed the basic narrative of Quran that has been told and given to the Muslims since childhood. Since childhood. Watch once again. In the meantime, our brother Hussein will bring the videos yeah. of other people. Yeah. You, you, way sorry brother sorry did you do you have the videos you know what i'm not sure how to get them here man i'm not sure how to how to show them here
they're on my StreamYard page. Oh, you cannot. You you cannot. You wherever you have saved them, you have to show them as share video with the link. So okay. it must be in I'll, some I'll of your the computer. Looking. I'll go ahead and keep looking, but I just want to say okay. one thing, you know, that this is what this is what the reason why Yasser Qadi he said it was this issue, the Aharuf and the Kira'at. This is where the holes in the narrative was because their explanations don't work. And, and just watch this guy if you want to see an explanation that doesn't work, you know. And so, you know, this is exactly what Yasser Qadi said, that there's holes in the narrative. This is the narrative that there's holes in is what this guy is saying right now. Exactly, brother. So watch once again what he says. Like Ibn Mas'ud says, when you say to someone, uh, come or uh, uh, get here, it's the same <laughs> meaning. It's the same meaning. It's the same meaning. <laughs> Different words. So these ahruf, these ways, in the beginning they were one. The Prophet said, I asked him for more and more and more until he gave me seven. Now, can we identify the seven? The answer is no. No one can. Why? Because the Prophet did not tell us no. this. Okay. These are seven ahruf. So how do you know that the Prophet said come? My or how do you know Prophet said get here? So basically, people wrote it in some way whatever they thought or perceived what muhammad said so quran is not word by word what was copied by the lohal mahfuz given through jibrail it is what every muslim perceived and wrote it down and he's going to explain it even further on that but the problem is now they have to admit they have to admit that it is not word by word preserved. They have to admit it now. Check this out. And they were given to us as a lump sum. Ah, it was given to us what? As a lump sum. <laughs> man, I watched this video and I was like, man, I have to go live on this right now. <laughs> Part, this is point one. Now, the most important point is, do you agree that the Quran is a divine revelation from Allah? Box number one, checked. Absolutely checked. <laughs> now, now, in the next two points, he's going to demolish it. He's going to demolish the next two points. Do you agree that Allah pledged upon himself to preserve the Quran? Box number two, checked. How? How? How is box number two is checked? When you already said, when you already said previously, it was given as lump sum. So people wrote it as lump sum. So how did Allah preserve it when you don't even know what Allah said? Like <laughs> you know what, Adam? You know what? what? That this is the reason. This is what makes me angry. What makes me angry is he's telling you to your face. He's telling you to your face that the, there's the, all these different Qur'ans and it's all different with different meanings, with different words, with different letters and everything. And yet he's still continuing the lie. The same lie that we were told. He's still continuing. Check your, check your box. Check your box. You know, he's still saying that there's only one Qur'an. It's unperfectly preserved. You know, and that's why they keep telling the same lie. Brother, so why, why? Let me give you why, why, why? You need to understand why. Because Allah, the most stupid uh, false god in the history of false gods, proclaimed, Indeed, we have given the zikr and we are its protector. So basically, they have to lie. Otherwise, they have to leave the Islam. And, and I see your video. Check this out, guys. This is Mr. Zakir Naik just 10 years ago, I think, no, 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 or something like over 10 years ago. Didad? Okay, sorry. Guys, uh, Ahmad Didad is coming. Let's check this guy. 
tells you in the Quran, it is his job to protect it from any type of interpolation, any type of addition or deletion. So Allah's job is to protect it from any type of interpolation, any type of deletion, any type of omission. Watch once again. Allah Ta'ala tells you, God Almighty tells you in the Quran, it is his job to protect it from any type of interpolation, any type of addition or deletion. You so know, that is why they have to they have to regenerate it. That is why exactly why they have to do what they are doing. Yes. Why they have to do what you are doing. Put put the other video in in the meantime. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Okay, our brother will be back. And that is why, even though that he said that it is not the same, it was given as lump sum. Still, he has to say what? checked do you agree that allah pledged upon himself to preserve the quran box number two checked exactly that is exactly why they have to say that they have to say that and our brother hussein is back in okay sorry brother that's okay and it's my fault. It's like, uh, <laughs> but you no, know, I think the, it was my fault, or it was your fault. Oh, I don't know what was. No, no, you can have the blame. It's okay. Okay, so. perfect. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna look at one too because I got another DDAP video that's even better than that one. So let me just look for it. So yeah, bring all of them, brother. Bring all of them. In the meantime, let's play a little bit more of this guy, right? Okay. Do you agree? that the whole muslim ummah for the past 15 centuries never doubted the quran and agreed upon the the, the quran that we have with the Can different ahruf in... okay brother to... yes i know you're very tempted <laughs> please you know what he just says uh, do you agree that for the last 15 centuries the whole ummah no one doubted the quran Yes, I agree with you. I agree with you because we were lied to, because they were lied to, just like you're lying to us right now. And it takes me back to Obey ibn Ka'b. Obey ibn Ka'b, when he discovered that there's a problem, he went to Muhammad himself. And Muhammad came up with the seven Ahruf thing. And then Obey ibn Ka'b said, Shak dakhir fi nafsi. He just used the word, did they even doubt? They didn't doubt because you lied to them. Because you lied to them and you're continuing to lie to them. You know, but when the truth comes in, what's gonna what happened to Obey ibn Ka'ab is gonna happen to the Ummah, which is Shak Dakhal bin Nafsi. Doubt entered my soul. So and I got the other Ahmed did that video when you want. So the question was, do Muslims also have different versions of the Quran? We have no different versions. So we have no different versions of the Quran. The Arabic Quran universally is the same. No difference between one part of the world and another. <laughs> That's what we were talking No different versus what? Man, that's the lies that they have been telling us. But you know, I will show you that the early scholars disagree with these scholars because early scolars knew that the Quran was not preserved. But these people have been lying to us from the last thousand years. And you know, now they have to change the lie. You know, you know, uh, you know, Adam, I just want to say something. You know, one of the reasons I is because I noticed that every day it looked like people from my village, almost every day somebody died. Today, two young men from my village died. And you know, when I, when I think that they're being lied to, we need to tell them you're being lied to before it's too late. These are young men, not old people. You know, this is why we need to tell you before you enter eternity. So anyway. No, brother, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right in this point. And I hope these people will understand it before it is too late. Right. Uh, but yeah, let's watch. In it, 
The answer is yes and check for box number three. Now, where is the fault here? Hmm. The fault where here? is the fault? We need to understand the fault. Now we need to understand the fault. That this fault is very, very important fault, guys. Yes. The fault is in our own understanding. <laughs> the fault is when we listen to the enemies of Islam who are trying to cast doubts in our religion over something that no. is crystal clear. Crystal clear. Someone comes. Absolutely clear, brother. <laughs> Please say say whatever you want to say right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I got another video, but you know what? You, the, 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 you know what I said when we started? I said the house is collapsing and watching this guy. I'm, I'm watching this guy like running around trying to catch all the bricks before the house collapses, trying to hold up the thing. Because he knows it's collapsing in his in front of him, his his job security is being threatened by this, you know. And crystal clear, you know why? Because they're trying to continue the lie. Tell I tell the people, don't doubt. But I'm telling you, there's going to be a syndrome, dude. I, I came up with a new disease. I got a new disease, Adam, and I'm I'm declaring it the new disease. I'm saying what it is. Here on your channel, first time ever in the history of mankind, it's called the Obey Ibn Ka'ab Syndrome. Obey Ibn Ka'ab Syndrome, which is doubt entered my soul. Shak dakhal nafsi. This is, it's a new syndrome. It's a, it's like, you know, an epidemic among Muslims that doubt is entering them because of stuff like this. That'll be my video tomorrow, bye. Uh, you want to play the video? Yes, 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 yes. Hold, uh, hold on, Nafs. Uh, give me a sec. Just play a little bit. I'm, I'm holding that video for later. Just give me one okay. sec. Let's play this. Okay. Student says your father is not your real biological father. Mm -hmm. Would you go and do a DNA test? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if there is a shock, yes, you will go and do a DNA test to verify whether some idiot is claiming it right or wrong. So yes, you are going to claim that. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Uh, but like, you won't. You won't. He won't. He won't. Of course not. Of course of not. Course, <laughs> I wouldn't believe whatever someone comes and says to me, which I'm totally confident of, let alone about my own religion that oh. is totally confident. False proof. It's perfect. Oh, oh, 15 proof. centuries, people are increasing. Facts are coming up to prove that it is the ultimate religion and it's divine religion from Allah. Oh, so my God. gosh. Oh, so my gosh. I wouldn't allow these things to infiltrate my conviction in Iman and cast doubt over my Iman of the Quran. Oh, but Iman of the Quran, when you are going to explain the Sabah Aruf, you did not even explain. You just said, come and get. Now, now is he going to explain further? So check what he's going to explain. The very meat of the subject comes now. So how to explain? There is no need to explain. Uh, the prophet himself. So, so how to explain? There is no need to explain. <laughs> Brother, you know, the meat of the subject is, so how to explain? You there is no to. need to explain. <laughs> you don't need to. Just tell people it's crystal clear. It's crystal clear. Even though they know it's not crystal clear. People, don't listen to the lies anymore. If you listen to the lies, listen, if they lied to you once, shame on them. If he lies to you twice, shame on you. On you. You're choosing to believe the lie then. You see, it's it's not his fault anymore. It's your fault for choosing to believe what he says. Man, I, I, I have to rewind this. I have to rewind this. Everyone needs to know the meat of the subject. Now he's going to explain the meat of the subject. Okay? Infiltrate my conviction in Iman and cast doubt over my mm. Iman of the Quran. So how to explain? There's yes. no need to explain, Akhi. The there is no need to explain, Akhi. There is no need to explain, Akhi. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's... let's... <laughs> 
so michael said it's it explains everything in detail <laughs> <laughs> that is, his explanation is Mubin, you know. Mubin, <laughs> Mubin or Munib. <laughs> <laughs> his explanation <laughs> is Munib. <laughs> yes. All right. The Prophet himself said that he requested seven ways of recitation. It was given to him. Mm -hmm. Now, at the time of Uthman, may Allah be pleased with him, he rewritten the Quran, compiled it. Okay, this is very important, guys. Now I'm gonna be serious now. At the time of Uthman, he rewritten the Quran. Understand what he said. This word is very important, and I'm gonna emphasize this later in this video to explain how and what he did. At the time of Uthman, he rewritten the Quran. So apparently, according to his verdict. Quran was written before the time of Uthman and Uthman rewrote it. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the narrative of Sunnah, and I'm going to show you those. But once again, understand what Uthman did. He rewrote the Quran. Okay. Now check what happens. Okay, but no, 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 no. Don't give them the hadith yet. Don't give them the hadith yet. Give something else. I want to give the hadith. I want, to, I, want, I want a Muslim to come on. I want the Muslim to come on and tell me that it's okay. That it's okay that Uthman rewrote the Quran. Rewrote the that's what this guy said. He rewrote the Quran. I want a Muslim to come on and tell me that it's okay that Uthman rewrote the Quran. Any Muslim. Yes, there is a Muslim already in the chat, and he said he will come in, but I told him to wait. Let me finish this whole video okay. and then I will send the link. All right. <clears throat> Check this out, guys. On one way of these ahruf, and that is the way of Quraysh. Okay. Now, Steve, very important question. When Uthman rewrote the Quran, who the hell gave him the authority to remove six ways of the Quran? and write only one way of the Quran where he can pick and choose whatever way that he want to who gave him this authority what you know the and 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 there's another question I want to ask with I'll write along with this because well actually it's it's it, it is your question according to the hadith these were brought down from Allah the sita ahruf the six ahruf were brought down from Allah. That means they were inspired. Who gave him the authority to burn, to burn six of them? Where did he get, and why did the people agree to let him do that? I mean, and how did he know he burned the right one? Uh, he wrote the right one, not burned the right one. He burned the rest of them. He, he preserved only one out of the Sabah. Right. So he burned the Sitta. Burn and preserved only one. All right. Very good question, brother. So no choice already heard the questions. So that's why I told him to watch carefully before you come up. So guys, check this out. Uthman had the authority that he burned one fifth. No, not one fifth. Sorry, my bad. Five part of Quran and saved only one part of Quran. Guys, understand. Uthman burned five parts of Quran and preserved only, uh, sorry, uh, Usman, my bad. Brr, Usman burned six parts of Quran and preserved only one part of Quran. So imagine a guy came in and he burns and destroys six parts of Quran and preserves only one part of Quran, and Muslimin claims that Quran is still preserved. God knows how you call it preservation when six parts of Quran is actually burned. And persecuted CT actually said it right. <laughs> one plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one equal to one Quran. <laughs> exactly. And uh, 
you, you know what? I, I think I got an idea about the Loh al Mahfud. I think I got it from this, from, uh, this brother here. Uh, somebody said that Allah has a tablet. You know what I was thinking is, you know, the preserved tablet that it might uh -huh. be, like, you know, like those Apple tablets, you know, and you can change, you can change the words on it. So maybe that's the kind of tablet it is instead of a per perfect preserved tablet, you know, made of stone. Okay. <laughs> Bad joke. Okay, move on. <laughs> All right, let's go. The dominant language, which was prevailing all over the country. And he... So now he added Now he added language, man. Now he added language. So did Muhammad received Quran in seven different languages or one language? Why did he add language here? Yes. You know, and this... this this is epic, man. How, how the hell can he add the word language here? Right. And it was Sama Haruf. Sorry, brother. It was, it was seven ways. It was ways. That's how he said. He got it in mm. seven ways, whatever that means. You know, because they keep coming up with new words for it because they don't know what it is. But you know one thing he just said? He says that this was the, the, the language that was prevalent everywhere. And everybody was happy with it. If, if, if you could play just that last part there of what he said. Everybody, but you know, I just want to say uh, that's not true. The reason Uthman burned all those Qurans because there was a language problem. The Iraqi Muslims wanted to fight the Syrians because they recited the Quran differently. He's saying that the Qurayshi was dominant everywhere. It wasn't. That's what led to the second fitna. That's what led to the second fitna, which is why Uthman had to burn the Qur'ans and come up with one. Because they said to them, hey, you better do something or we're going to become like the Christians and the Jews. But what he just said is not true, that there was one language everywhere that everybody was so happy with. Can you just play the very last part of what he just said? Let me just do that. Compiled it on one way of these ahruf and that is the way of quraish the dominant language the dominant language was prevailing all over prevailing all over all over and he made sure that there were no dots or vowels used okay <laughs> okay he he made sure that there was no dots and vowels used brother okay can he prove this from any way possible that at the time of Muhammad and Uthman, was there any vowels used in writing? Yeah. You know what? You know what he's doing? This is exactly what they're doing when they talk about Miriam, the sister of Aaron. When they talk about Miriam, the daughter of Amran, when they go, when you know, what they're doing is they're doing damage control because he's making it seem like it was a good thing that the, 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 uh, Uthmani, the documents of Uthman had no diacritical, diacritical marks or vowels in them. He's making it sound like that was a good intentional thing that they did. He made sure that there wasn't. That's because there were no diacritical marks at the time. They didn't know it. It was a guy named Duali who came about 200 years later, and he's the one who put the dots. And that's one of the reasons why we've got so much confusion about whether to put the dot on top. Like it says in that verse, you know, I believe it's two, the verse 256, where it says uh, about the angels. It says, Humma Abad Rahman. They are the slaves of Allah. But then they put the dot on top and it turns into Humma Ind Rahman. They are with the Most High because of the dots, because they didn't know where to put the dots. And that's one of the biggest problems in the different uh, kiraat of the Quran is they didn't know where to put the dots and the dashes and the vowels. And so that's the whole problem of the kiraat right now, the biggest part of it. And so he's making it seem like it was intentional to do that. <laughs> so anyway. Very well answer. Very well answer. And that's the problem because they have no choice. Just like the no choice does not have any choice. No choice. Hold your horses if you want to come up. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. And you will be given time to speak. Hold your horses. <laughs> now, 
or I will have to make you hold your horses. Okay, <clears throat> now let me play, uh, move a little further. To include and incubate the other six <laughs> ahruf in it. Watch again, watch again, to watch again. <laughs> include and incubate this is a new word. This is a new word. the other six ahruf <laughs> in it. Okay, so, to in so, so that's why ibad or end the now he so understand this what happened steve understand what has just happened he said to incubate these aharuf uthman by himself intentionally did not added the dots and diacritical marking whereas the dots and diacritical markings were not even present at that time Number one. Number two. They didn't use it. Now the problem comes in, like I said before, was it was it Kasira or Kabira? Was it Kasira or Kabira? Was it bigger or was it many? Who would know if the Quran says that you will be given a big punishment or you will be given a, a, a many punishments. Nobody knows that. Why nobody knows that? Because Uthman never added dots trying to include every Aharuf. But once again, that's a camel urine theory. <laughs> because in reality, by doing this, he destroyed the basic narrative of Quran itself. <clears throat> he destroyed the basic narrative of Quran itself. But they do not comprehend that. They do not want to comprehend that. That's the problem. They do not want to comprehend that. So let's watch a little further while Steve tries to join back in. It. And the whole Ummah agreed upon it. And accepted it. Now, this is another problem. Problem number two, point number two. The whole Ummah agreed upon that. I will show you that the whole Ummah did not agree upon that. The whole Ummah did not agree upon that. And the whole Ummah was telling the scholars and the early Muslimin were telling that they had difference in opinions of how the Quran was written and how the Muhammad tr transmitted the Quran. I'm going to show you. And the, those who have knowledge, those who are the elite who have knowledge in the Quran's recitations can tell you some of the examples which are like one in every 1,000 words or maybe more. One word in every 1,000 word that may be written differently, meaning the same, or... <coughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I'm still laughing, but like this is a laughable thing. Okay, let's see what he said. But I am I, the Quran, what is before, so it is perfectly preserved. It was placed, see, before it still... Okay, <clears throat> yeah, that's what we are showing. That is what we are showing. That is exactly what we are showing. Uthman is Allah. Perfect. So now... I'm going to show you that the whole Ummah did not agree upon that 100%. Check this or out. Written differently with a different meaning that adds value. Different meaning that adds value. I am going to demolish this point as well. To the ayah, when you read the interpretation or the tafsir of it. Now, the seven qira'at, these are totally different than the ahruf. Okay. Guys, this is what we have been saying. This is what I have said many times. That the, the, the seven kiras are not the seven ahruf. Finally, this guy actually stated it. Read it. Clear, loud, and clear. Check this out. Now, the seven qiraat, these are totally different than the ahruf. Because this is what was compiled by seven scholars like two, three centuries later on 
each one having a different accent or dialect in reciting the Quran. The most prominent that is worldwide, Hafs and Asim. This is the prominent, but there's Warsh, uh, 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 Anafi, and there are different types which... So, my friend, basically he agreed with us that these 37 Qurans that were shown, he just, he just said seven, but 37 Qurans that were shown by Hatun Tash are not the seven Ahruf, which most of the scholars are actually saying that they are Sabah Ahruf. In fact, they are not Sabah Ahruf, and they are actually a recitation because, <laughs> dude, he's, he's crazy. Because previously he said that these are, the dots were not added so that it could encapsulate. Incubate. Saba Ahruf. Incubate, sorry. Incubate Saba Ahruf. Then when we show, when we will show him the dots difference in the Hafs and the Versh version, for example, in the Rahman or Abdur Rahman, he just agreed that no, they are not in, they are not even the Ahruf of Quran. So where is he going? He's actually explained nothing. He explained literally nothing. What did he explain then? Like, you know, you know one thing that he did explain? He did explain one thing, okay? You got to give him credit where credit is due, bro. You know, he did explain that there are at least, according to him, 14 Qur'ans. Because there's the Sabah Ahruf and the Sabah uh, Kiraz. Kiraz. So, wow. There's at least 14 Qur'ans, according to what he said. And this is what you were talking about. Yes. Un Ibadur Rahman and whom Andar Rahman. And uh, quite frankly, this is this is a big, big issue in itself as well. Because <laughs> you can know I, because can I, explain it? can I explain it? Yes, please you can explain. If you look it. at the, okay, now this one is from the Habs version and one is from the Warsh version. It's talking about the angels. Now it says the top one says they are the slave Humma Abad Rahman which is they are the slaves of the most gracious and and the reason it is abad or slaves is because of the dot that he was talking about is underneath the word in the middle but the second one on the bottom is from the Warish version it says they are with the most gracious and the reason the word is and or with is because the dot is on top. So if you put the dot under, they become slaves. If you put the dot on top, they becomes with completely different meaning. And yet it's because the dots. And he's saying that this was an incubation, you know, that this is they're being incubated to come up with the, uh, you know, you know, whatever, whatever explanation he has there. But these are clearly different words different meanings based on a single dot absolutely brother absolutely without a doubt and by the way you had a website where different versions of quran's we can watch together and learn uh, re, uh, listen from it as well do you still have that uh, i forgot the link of that i had it somewhere oh yes yes i did have it yeah uh, you Can know, you please give it to me? Uh, well, uh, you know, I got to go back and look for it, okay? Okay. It's, but it's very good because it'll show you them reciting it differently, you know, and how they... Uh, okay, now let me give the live stream link over here to hey, could, no could choice. You, could you tell people to go and like and subscribe to my channel too so I get over 2,000? Oh, yes. Guys, subscribe to Hussein Mashni's channel. Hussein Mashni's channel is very, very good channel as well. He is doing a great job, Hussein Mashni. And Chloe Wake will send the link of Hussein Mashni channel. Chloe Wake, do your trick, sister. And uh, let's go to Surah Al Ihzab, ayah number 68. This is very important as well. Surah Al Ihzab. Da, 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 
I got a Zachary Nike video when you, whenever you want. <laughs> oh, Zachary Nike. Let's play Zachary Nike in the meantime. Personally verified. Personally. When he was alive, whatever was written on the Quran, whether it was perfect or not. Personally. He personally verified it. Man, oh. he personally verified everything, man. Everything. According wow. to Zachary. Yes. I got another one too. I don't know if you want to play it because the other one's pretty good too. It's the it's the orange guy. Man, he personally verified everything. Every every dot, every somebody's lying. Somebody's lying somewhere, you know. But it is crystal clear though. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we have our Muslim over here but let's play this video as well of the quran and who has said that any word of the quran is not from it or the quran is missing any part is a disbeliever you're not a muslim wow so you're you are muslim, not a muslim if you do not agree means this guy awesome or who <laughs> the sheikh that that's we're showing he's not a muslim according to this guy so <laughs> exactly and then check this out this is the different versions of quran and i'm taking just one verse so here it says kasira this is say with three kasira. dots on the top kasira. and kasiran and we will have kabiran somewhere here just a dot which one uh, kabiran kabiran dot yeah. down below kabiran yeah. so yeah. whether it is azab ul azab the punishment is uh, sorry lana kabiran the cursing is the bigger curse the biggest yeah. curse or the curse yeah. is many curse yeah. so the bigger curse or the many curse it does yeah. not matter right because according to him these are not even the Aharuf of Quran, but they are actually what? The Kiraz of Quran. That's what he says. He just destroyed himself. He just destroyed himself fully. 100%. Wow. You know, okay, we have the no choice now. No choice. What do you have to say now after watching all, everything? Okay. First of all, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for having me on. Um, thank you. Thank you for having me on. Uh, first of all, please don't make the assumption that every video that you've played of a Muslim that I'm going to agree with because that would just be unreasonable. So please don't think that every video that you played that 1.8 billion Muslims around the world agree with that video. So first of all, I'd like to put that out there because you're being very de deceptive. And okay, I, okay, hold on, hold on. Now you attack me, me first. Hold on, shut up no, now. You attack no, no, me first. No, shut I, I, up now, I, I, or I'll throw you, throw, you throw, off. throw you off. Shut throw up. Shut up. I'm not you, turning you, off. Why did you attack me? Did 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 I did I say anything like that to anyone? Why did you personally accuse me of something that I did not say? Do you want me to kick you off and block you from my channel? So stop making personal accusations and come to the bloody point or you will be kicked off and blocked. Now I'm unmuting you. Come to the point. If you want to kick me and block me, you're more than welcome to do that. But I'm going to have my say. I never said that you did that. I said that it's been deceptive. It's recorded. Now, sh okay. now shut up and come to the point. No, no. I'm going to say my piece so you can just kick me off. Okay, get lost. A stupid idiot. So he does not have anything. He's just here to... You know, babble. You, you know He's what? just here to babble. You know what? I want to ask him. I want to you know if he could be honest. Do you do you believe that there is one Quran that is perfectly preserved by Allah from the law from the preserved tablet? Do you believe that there is one Quran unchanging, perfectly preserved, every dot, every line, every consonant, everything. Check, check his lies, check his lies. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. When I gave him the chance to come up, 
and prove it, he start doing babbling about other things and not coming to the point. No yeah. choice. One more time. If you are not stupid now, come up and come to the point instead of babble. You have one more chance. Come up, come to the point and answer or you will be permanently blocked. Now, again, will you come to the point or will you babble? It's up to you. Now, let's see if he comes up. From the... All right. So now going back to the subject. <clears throat> he demolished everything. And let's check this out. Ubay said, this is Sunan An-Nisai. Ubay, I had no confusion in my mind from that time I embraced Islam. So Ubay had no confusion, no shock. Except when I recited a verse and another man recited it differently. Man, so Ubay started to have shock in his nafs. <laughs> So Ubay started to have shock because the other man recited the verse differently. And according to Ubay as well, Quran is perfectly preserved, coming from Lohel Mahfuz by the Jibrail. I said, the messenger of Allah taught me this. And the other man said, the messenger of Allah taught me too. Yeah, so God. I went to the Prophet and said, O Prophet of Allah, did you teach me such and such verse? He said, yes. The other man said, did you not teach me such and such verse? The Prophet said, yes, Jibrail and Mikail. Now we have two prophets, uh, two angels, Jibrail and Mikail. Peace be upon both of them came to me and Jibrail sat on my right and Mikail sat on my left. Jibrail, peace be upon him, said, recite the Quran with one way of recitation. Mikail said, teach me more. So he didn't he said that Muhammad said, teach me more. Here Mikael is saying, <laughs> here Mikael is saying, Mikael is saying, teach me more, teach him more, teach him more, teach him more, him more, teach him more, teach Muhammad more. Until there were seven modes of recitation, each of which is good and sound. Seven modes. Sab a aharuf. Sab a haruf. Sab a aharuf. Who gave the authority to Uthman? to demolish and destroy the six aharuf of Quran and only save one, number one. Number two, where is the Uthmanic Quran that Muslimin have? Number three, when the Quran was perfectly preserved, who the hell can claim that it was perfectly preserved when Muhammad never even saw what Uthman wrote because he burned the rest of the scripture? That's what the Hadith says. No choices again. Guys, I'm going to give no choice one more chance. If he will not come straight to the point and start babble left, right, he'll be kicked off again. There you go. No choice. Come to the point. Okay. So you just want me to answer how you want come me to. to yeah? Come I'll to the point. I'll answer. point. Okay. I, I will do. So just for all your viewers, I'm going to answer how you want me to because otherwise you're going to kick me. Okay. I'll do that. Um, Shut so, up and come to the point. No, no. What so, do you have to say okay. about perfect preservation? Okay. Come to the point. So first of all, Sahih Bukhari. 3047, Muslim 819. Ibn Abbas, who narrated that the Prophet وسلم, said, Jibreel taught me one style and I reviewed it until he taught me more. And I kept asking him for more and he gave me more until finally there were seven styles, not versions, styles. Oh, so oh. so if, if, if okay. now I've got to the point, please let me finish. Okay, yeah, yeah, give me the, no, give me, no, I'll show no. it on the screen. No, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, you I'll are do that. saying something. Okay, no problem, no okay, problem, yeah. I'll do that. All give right. me, give me, All right, give down, me, give me, calm down, calm down, calm down. Stop, 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 give me, stop, calm so down. that I will show you that it was not style, it was Aharuf. So give me the hadith that you okay. want me to put on. Nar narrated by Bukhari. Give me the link. No, I'm going to give you the. I'm going to give you the hadith number. Thirty. Yes, give me the link. I'm reading from a book. I'm not okay. reading from the. Okay, computer. so Sahih Bukhari. Hold on. Don't start saying anything unless I show. Sahih Bukhari. Thirty forty-seven. Thirty forty-seven. Three zero four seven. Let's go correct. one by one. Okay. okay. Let's okay. go one by okay. one. Okay. No problem. No there problem. we go. I am showing it right here, guys. Let's read his hadith. Okay. No, that's not it. 
Okay, this is the hadith. That's what you said, 3047? Yeah, but if you didn't, he didn't let me finish. That's why, because you okay. keep interrupting. Now let no, me finish. 3047. Guys, Muslim, what did he say? Yeah, Bukhari. Oh, my God. Bukhari Muslim, 3047, Muslim 819. Okay, 819. We will show 819 as well. Muslim so read, eight, what did he Mus say? Muslim 819. And I'll, I'll, I'll read it again. So it says... Guys, read what I'll, it says. Read from the screen, my friend. Read from the uh, screen. Right no, this is not what I'm talking. Oh, do you know Thank what? You. Let me let me let me uh, let me get it up. This on is my, not I'm the one. Okay, so give me the one which I can show on screen. Okay, one second. Uh, I'll give you the. 3047 say, I asked Ali, do you have the knowledge of any divine inspiration so beside what is Allah's book? Says? Here, here it is here. This is, okay. this, is, this is the number I'm looking at here. Okay. okay. Which one? Hold on. Hold on. Don't okay. start saying anything. No, Let's no, see. No, no. Okay. 3047. Guys, he just told me, narrated by Al-Bukhari 3047, and I am showing him 3047. Okay. In 3047, can you see anything what he is saying? No, but oh. you're looking at the wrong book. Okay, so tell me the book number. This is what you said. I said okay, it on text. Oh, let, let me just, uh, let me get you the link. Give me the right. proper narration so that I could go to your okay. hadith rather okay. than my hadith. Please. No problem. No problem. Okay. In the I'll tell you what, I'll go to a... Ibtahki Arabi? Naam, can you tell me Arabi? I'll keep halak. Alhamdulillah, min wain inta? Maghrib. Maghrib, okay. Morocco. Naam. Unsa? Ana min Filistin. Min Filistin. Farqallahu fiqh. <laughs> and second, say Muslim? Naam. Yes, I was a Muslim. Udaba Masihi? Okay, come to English. Everyone is watching and we don't want the conversation in Arabic. So sorry. everyone can I asked him, English. So, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I know what you asked him. So let's let's go to the hadith, please, so that we could show and start talking. Yeah, yeah, just click on the link, my friend. Okay, clicking on the link now. So guys, now... Oh, I don't want this. I need the hadith. Yeah, the hadith, I need is, the on hadith, there. hadith the is on there. The hadith is on there. The hadith is on there. I need the hadith and the reference. The so that hadith I could and the reference. The, the hadith and the reference is on there. The hadith Arabic. and the reference is on there. The hadith and the reference is on there. The hadith okay, and the reference listen, is on there. Understand what I'm saying. No choice. Understand what I'm saying. Okay. I don't care what the translation says. I need to see the Arabic and I need to okay. verify that it is saying the same what is written in the Arabic. Okay. Can you please give me the link? Okay, no problem. Just, that you are just, posting. Just a quick Give one. Give me what, the link. I, I will do. What What are you using to translate? I'm not using anything to translate. You are giving me a link which has English. I don't care what English says right now because we are talking about Aharuf and Kara'a. And the translations are very dubious in multiple locations. I have so many hadiths open Okay, over so here, that's why I asked But you. I what, do not what? want to, I do not want to open any of them for you because that's... I want you to provide your hadith so that you won't say, no, this is not what you wanted. So no, give me the hadith that no, you want me to I did give you show. the hadith. I gave you the hadith. There no, you did you. not give me I, the hadith. Just click you on gave that. Me... If, if you click on that link for the Stop viewers. lying. You oh, did wow. not give me the hadith. You give me Islam QA. I do not want to read it is. So go there. down. Go down. Go down. Go no, no, down. No, up. Can go you... down. Go down. Can you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand English? Do you yeah, comprehend but just English? Just go down for the viewers for me. Please. Do you comprehend what I'm saying? You don't want to. I do comprehend what you're saying. Okay, but just now, go down for my sake. Okay. Just go down. So okay, for so his stop. sake, uh, no. you say okay, Sahih al Bukhari 3047. This no. is Sahih Bukhari 3047. Yeah, but there's not just. Give me the hadith so that I could verify from the Arabic. Is it so hard for you to comprehend? So do not give me a Google article that you just Googled right now. No, no, that, that... Come to the point or I have already showing you this, which says the shak came into the heart of Ubay ibn Kaab. Okay, so as I said to you, if you're not Can willing you to... Can you give me the hadith? Yeah, Muslim 819. Okay, let's, let's go to Muslim 819. Let's see what that says. Muslim 819. 819, correct? Yeah. A, B, C, or 819 only? Yes. Okay. Yes. You reading it, yeah? 
silently. No, I am opening it, you stupid. I can see. I have to Google screen. it and show it, you stupid idiot. Okay. This is 819A because I was not able to find 819. So let me see if I can find 819. Hold on. Okay. Control okay. F, 819, because they were not showing me 819. The only hadith that I have here is, is 818C, and we directly go into 819A. There is nothing called 819, 819A, 819B, 819A, 820A. So do so, you want me to go 819A? No, what yes I want you no? to, what I want, what I'd like you to do, for the sake do of you want me to go to 819A? No, no. If you okay, listen, then give you're me 819 me that you want you, to show. You, you're not allowing me to answer, Adam. Your viewers can see what you're doing. So if you they are saying you, that you are dancing, you are tap dancing. No do you dancing. want me to go to 819A no or do you want me to give, do you want to give me the link of the hadith? I gave you the link, but you wasn't happy with it for some reason. Okay, so 819A says haraf. Okay, it does say haraf. Sab atul aharuf, seven aharuf. It does not say what right. you said. I, I'll so give now, you the come. link right now. I'll give you the link right now. Okay, give me the link right now. Ah, okay, okay. Because you, do you know what? You're scared of this, aren't you? Don't worry. I'm going to give. Don't worry. Your view is I will demolish you, and I will demolish you. Your view will see it. Don't shut worry. Shut up and give the link. There you, you go. There you go. Stop babbling light like cup. There it is. Don't worry, you Aisha. can see what you're doing. Okay, guys, listen, listen, listen. He said do not show 819A, and now he's giving me a link of 819A. This is how confused this idiot is. No, he no. just gave me the link of 819A, which I was saying, I can I show you 819A? And he said no. And no. then he actually what? gave me the link of 819A. Okay, brilliant. Imagine. Let's read it. Brilliant. So stupid. Let's, read, let's it. read Let's read it. Read it. Read it. Let's, read let's, it. No, you read it. I want you to read it. Read. You read it. Do you want me to kick off or you will read? It's okay. your hadith. Okay. So read. Jibril taught me to recite mm. in one style. I replied to him and kept mm. asking him to give me more styles. 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 Mm. Not mm. versions. Styles. You said Okay, it keep styles. barking. Come on. I'll say no. I'll show you. You you know Arabic. Okay, right. now you know Arabic. What does it say? No, keep going up. Up. What does the, it say? The view go up. Is the, what does the Arabic word for style oh, wow. over here? Wow, go up, please. I haven't finished what reading. What is the I Arabic word? Reading. I already know you know Arabic. I haven't so finished what reading. is the Arabic word for style over here? If any of you is watched yesterday, you I can't read Arabic. You son of Muta, can you give me I, the Arabic you're a son word of, Muta. of style? You're a son of Muta. I am not even a, I am not even a Muslim, so you are the son of Muta. Stop uh, barking. You, Tell me but, but your what's and dad the word Muslim, of Arabic for style. Get lost, you bastard. Now we can block him permanently. All right. So guys. That's what I told you guys already. They do falsified translations. And that is why he has to bound and say style. Because oh, he has seven styles which are in bracket, which is not even in Arabic. Which is you know, not even in Arabic. It's in bracket. You seven know, or more. Oh, sorry, oh. sorry, brother. Sorry. Let me fix so if everyone would know. Sub atil aharuf. And that is why we can go to translation google.com and we will see it says seven letters not styles letters it has nothing to do with style it has everything to do with the way it is written the way it is said the way it is stated the words brother hussein you know i'm just thinking about the confusion. I mean, this is something new today, what that guy showed. But, you know, what's interesting is he did show it to us in a real English translation. They are using the word styles, you know, but they also use the word modes. They also use the word dialects. They also use the word letters. They don't know what to make of this. This is exactly what Yasser Qadi says. It. This is the holes in the narrative. They don't know what the Sabah Ahruf is. And this just shows, this just clarifies it even more. That they, they're cut every few weeks, they come up with a new translation of what the word Ahruf means because they don't know. They're so confused. The house is collapsing. Sabah Ahruf. When he came in last time, he said he can't even read Arabic. 
thank you that you actually spoke with him in Arabic and his lies of last time. So he, he was there yesterday with me and had a three hour long discussion where he actually proclaimed he, he, does, he, can't, he doesn't know Arabic. He's from now Morocco. he was speaking in Arabic. He's yeah. from Morocco. Arabic is his mother tongue. And it says Sabaru. What, who is he deceiving? The audience. The stupid, idiot, lying son of Muta. That's what he is in reality. By the way, okay, <clears throat> the reason why I kept saying bring me on, did you know that the link he gave you to Islam QA, I quoted in my paper, you understand the link he gave you destroyed Muhammad in the Quran? Click on and see what <clears throat> he didn't want us to read. Click on that. Okay. Scroll down, Adam. Scroll down. Okay. Slow down. It's okay. What would you show down, brother? Go. Let me show you with paragraph. Uh, where it says, thirdly, start reading from there, thirdly. Some of the scholars said that what was meant by Aruf was the dialects Sorry, of the Arabs. Listen. What does it say, read? Th but this is far-fetched. Did you catch it? <laughs> His, this is why I said, bring me before he runs. Islam QA says, any Muslim who tells you his dialects, like Asim al-Hakim, they're lying. It's far-fetched. Why? Now read. Because the hadith of Umar ibn al-Khattab, who said, I heard Hashim ibn Hakim reciting Surah al-Furqan in a manner different from that in which I used to recite it. Amen. And the way in which the Messenger of Allah taught me to recite it. It was about, I was about to argue with him whilst he was praying. But I waited until he finished his prayer and then I tied his uh, garment around his neck and seized him by it and brought him to the Messenger of Allah and said, O Messenger of Allah, I heard this man reciting Surah al furqan in a way different to the way you taught to me. The Messenger of Allah said to him, recite it. And he recited it. As I heard him recite it, the Messenger of Allah said it was revealed like this. Then he said to me, recite it. So I recited it and he said it was revealed like this. The Quran has been revealed in seven different ways. So recite it in the easiest way. So one of the problem here is once again, they use the word recitation over here again, brother. That's why I do not trust these English no, translations. No, no, but you, you're missing the point. Don't, don't gang up on recite. Who cares? Because the meat is coming. Read the meat. Okay, meat is coming. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can I Can I show you? In the Arabic, the same hadith of yeah, Umar okay, Ibn Khattab. This is the you're same. Gonna see, you're going to okay. see why they said seven different ways recite. Okay. Because if you scroll down, don't make us wait for the rapture. You're going to see. Allah it Allah. is known that Hisham was Asdi Qurayshi, i.e. from the clan of Bani Asad in Quraysh. And Umar was Adavi Qurayshi from the clan of Bani Adiya, Adi. 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 in Quraysh both of them were from Quraysh and Quraysh had only one dialect <laughs> oh my goodness. okay you catch now let's explain to people <laughs> Omar and Hisham they spoke the same dialect so the differences could not be in dialect because they spoke the same dialect so the differences had to be something else that were so different Omar was about to beat him up so finish it why would two men of Quraysh have been different? The scholar mentioned nearly 40 different opinions concerning this matter. Perhaps the most correct is that which we have mentioned above and Allah best knows. This article buried him. Wow. This article says <laughs> it's not dialects. That's a lie. And there's over 40 explanations because no one knows what it means. And that is why, thank you. And this, uh, this article actually proves my point that in the Arabic, it does not say dialect. It does not say kira. It says sub atal ahruf, which yeah. means seven letters, seven different wordings. But that's why they translate it ways because they don't know what it means. Absolutely. So they said seven ways because we don't know what it is. We don't know. It's not dialect. That's for sure. What is it? We don't know. 
Nobody knows. Only Allah knows. That's why they o say. Over Allah 40 knows explanations given. So here, I want the people to know, Omar and wow. Hisham, they spoke the same dialect. They were taught chapter 25 so differently, even though it's the same dialect, that when Omar heard 25, he wanted to beat him up. How the hell are you reciting it this way? And then Muhammad shocked him. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And your, your way is right. But wait, we speak the same dialect, so the differences are not dialect. That means we're saying things so differently, it doesn't even sound the same. You got it now? So, Why I said, bring me on, bring me on, bring me on. Don't let him run. Don't let him run. Because his own article, the idiot who's stupider than Muhammad, doesn't see how the article just buried him. No, he is a, he is a, he's a stupid and he is a troll. So it does not matter. He just demolished himself by speaking in Arabic, number one, and then giving me a hadith where he said style, whereas the Arabic says sabah aruf, and he spoke in Arabic as his native tongue with Hussein. So he cannot say to me that he does not know Arabic, which he used the narrative yesterday on a three hours long stream. So he cannot say to me that he doesn't know Arabic. He knew Arabic. And then he is going for the English translation and saying style, 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 which is in bracket, which is not even in the Arabic. But it gets better for you. Now read fourthly. Look what they say. Look how good this article gets. Read number. Okay, the there is a fourthly part. as well. Oh, okay, a fourthly. wait, wait, wait. Look how many points. It's going to get better for you guys. Save this article, guys. Okay. Fourthly, it seems that the seven styles were revealed with different wordings. Wordings. Yes. That's the right word. Aharuf. Aharuf. That's Aharuf. Exactly. Okay. That's Aharuf. Okay, but you see, but it's going to get even better when you go to fifth. Keep reading. Wait, oh. As indicated by Hadith of Umar, because Umar's objection was to the style, not the meaning. The difference between these styles are not matter of contradiction and op and op uh, op opposition. opposition. Rather, they are synonymous. And Synonym Ibn Masood synonymous. said... Synonymous. synonymous means that they have the same meaning. Yeah, so they same. give an example here. It is like one of you saying... Haluma, 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 or Taal. Yes, the different way of saying come here. Perfect. Okay, so, so but they're admitting, they're admitting the words are not the same. They're different, even though they're trying to give you an example. Say, hey, they're different words, but same meaning. No, but we know examples. They're not. But now this one's going to, you're going to like. Watch this one. Fifthly. With regards to seven recitation, Al-Qira'a, al, 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 al saba the difference yes. from Aharuf. Seven, yes, seven Qira. This is, now this is Qira. This is not Aharuf. This number is not based on Quran and Sunnah. Bam! Rather, that means <laughs> the choosing of seven qiraat does not come from Muhammad or Quran. They're not the same. Rather, it is ishtihad. <laughs> like Ibn Mujahid. <laughs> Man, this, this is going even further crazy. This is why I didn't want you to let him run. Say, let's read your own article. I, was, I wasn't even watching those uh, chats when I'm fighting with people. people no, I, already thought know, that... I already know this, because I quote it in my, one of my papers. I quote this. That's why I said, what an idiot this guy is. But keep reading, because now you, when you get to the sixth point, you're going to love it. There's a sixth point. Okay. Okay, let's go to the sixth point. Because well, like no, this is okay, saying, okay, people okay, thought that al aruf al seba the seven Aruf, were al kira al saba because they happen to be the same number, but this number may have come about coincidentally, yeah, or it mean, may was, have it been done deliberately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it has nothing to do with that because yeah, kira right. can be more than seven. Okay. Six, sixthly, yeah. sixthly, when Uthman made copies of the Quran. He did so according to one style. Oh, harf. so one half. But what, what did uh, some Muslims say? No, it encompassed all the seven. They said, no, one half. <laughs> but he omitted the dots and the vowel points so that some other styles could also be accommodated. Man, this is crazy, man. So he's, they're telling you he didn't include the seven in one. He just chose one half. Oh, your wish come true. He's back. Do you want me to add him? Let him now debate. So now, douchebag, deal with this article of yours. Okay, now, there you go. You and him. We are okay, okay, good. I'm glad you're quiet now. Okay, so, okay. okay, so first of all, Sam, do you accept it? Because it seems you're agreeing with whatever you want to agree with. Do you agree with all of it or just some of it? Do you? I want you to answer no, no, the question. Answer the question. Do, do you want to get blocked? Agree? No, no, do no. You... You're not asking questions. You're going to answer. I will do. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. 
and Omar spoke the same dialect. So what were the differences that moved Omar to want to beat him up? Right, I'll answer that. Answer it. I will do before you answer me. You've answer, agreed. With no, them. I don't answer your question. Okay, answer great. So, so it seems like Sam's cherry picking what he's choosing to agree with. Okay, here. answer so the question. Stop barking like your dog, Muhammad. Answer. The only dog here is you. So no, it's like the, it, the one that gave birth to you, bastard. No, no, answer. it's the one who gave birth to you with no, the mental the health issues. No, the one that Nasia did muta David, with. Get the hell David out of here. Get this space. dog out of here. You yeah, yeah, get your mom. Oh, I love like, like your mother is... Uh, I, I told you, I told you, I he's just a troll. I told you, he's just Your a mother, troll. mother, if she wasn't no, a whore, she he, wouldn't he give birth to you from like the Shia. He cusses like an air. He does no, but he, does, he can't. He's a man in the screen. Just face to face, <laughs> I'll make him urinate in his pants. I told you he's a troll, Let man. Let me see I, your face, you little coward. <laughs> if, you are, if you're really the son of your mother, show me your face. Tell me, let's meet, you co coward. That's how you treat these dogs. Anyway, sorry, my computer's about to die. Yeah, don't waste yeah, your time with this dog. He cusses in Arabic very good. His Arabic is perfect. He's a yeah, I know. Because the Shia, don't forget, the Shia taught his mother when they're doing muta with her. I told you he's a troll. I was right this time around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. guys, fit this hey, 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 brothers, I need to yeah. go to prepare. Yeah. I need okay. to do my last preparation. Adam, you, guys, Hussein Adam, save that link. This is his own link. That's very awesome. him. And then send it to the Shia that did muta with his mommy. Okay, guys? Anyway. That's a great, that is a great article, man. Please put and it. thank this Ibn Muta that uh, that he gave you the link. Thank you. Anyway, guys, God bless you. Love you guys. God bless All you right. guys. Thank, you, thank, you. thank you. Love you guys. All right. Adam. Before you go, before you go, I want to show what that's what you are showing the videos so give me one minute let me show these videos okay i just want you to one copy of answer the Kadi one. and anyone really answer Kadi. okay let's let's read this one and then answer Kadi because then it's no, more appropriate answer answer Kadi. Yeah. it's only one copy of the quran and anyone who has a doubt that any word of the quran is not format or the quran is missing any part is a disbeliever He's a disbeliever, right? So that is why these people have to proclaim that. But thanks to Yasser Qadi, and after Yasser Qadi, everyone started talking, and that is why this guy also spoke and told us that there are differences. Yasser Qadi. Every single student of knowledge knows who studies Ulum al Quran that the most difficult topics are Ahruf and Qiraat, and the concept of Ahruf and the reality of Ahruf and the relationship of the Rathmatic Mus'haf with the Ahruf and the preservation of the Ahruf. Is it one? Is it three? Is, is it seven? And the relationship of the Qira'at to the Ahruf. This is a topic that when you're the beginning, beginning student of knowledge, you're like, what is all of this going on here? When you go a little bit more, you learn to simply memorize what your teachers say and regurgitate it out. And you don't fully comprehend. When I love this point of his. I love this point of his. You it's simply such an insult to Muslims. He's saying you just regurgitate, you vomit out what your teachers tell you. When you do a deep dive, deep dive. is when <laughs> things get very, very awkward and difficult. And this isn't new. This is from the time of the Sahaba. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. Listen, the issue of Ahruf and Qiraat caused confusion. To somebody whom the Prophet said, if you want to listen to the Quran directly, listen to Ubay. Ubay is not some even average Sahabi. He is the Qari of the Quran. He is the master. He is who he is. And he goes, Fadakhar fi nafsi shak. What is ah, the shak entered my heart. The Adam, shak entered my heart. Oh, Adam, my. I got to go, brother. But don't forget, we have a new disease today. The Obey Ibn Kaab syndrome, okay? Obey Ibn Kaab syndrome, perfect. <laughs> Obey uh, Ibn Kaab syndrome. <laughs> okay, bro, God bless you, man. I got to go, okay? God bless you. Thank you so very much, brother. Take care, and I will catch you later. All right, guys. So the, the shock, and that is what I have been showing over here as well. <sighs> Let me bring back this hadith. So... Excuse me. What happened is that Ubay ibn Kaab said, I had no confusion in my mind from the time I embraced Islam, except when I recited a verse and another man recited it differently. 
I said the messenger of Allah taught me this. So this is when the shak entered his heart. This is when the shak entered his heart. And there are multiple other locations. This is the hadith that he that I was showing as well. Umar ibn al Khattab, the Surah al Furqan one that we read from this article. This is the this one. And he put a cloth around the neck of that person. And he dragged him to Muhammad. And then they both recited. And then they both recited. And then Muhammad said the Quran has been revealed in seven different ways to him. And how did he revealed in seven different ways? If you look at it, there is Jibrail and Mikhail standing on the right or the left. And then Mikhail is saying, recite him more, recite him more, recite him more. And if we see certain other ahadiths, for example, let me show you. Uh, Sayyul Bukhari. Now, this is a shorter narration. Allah Messenger said, Gibrail read the Quran to me in one way. And I continued asking him to read it in different ways till he read in seven different ways. Which one will you believe? Will you believe that Muhammad asked him to recite in seven different ways? Or did Mikhail asked him to recite in different ways? No matter which way it happened, at the end of the day, the Quran was revealed in seven different ways. You do not have all seven ways. So there is a problem. Now, I'm going to give you one Quranic narrative. Let me give you one Quranic narrative. Hold on. I have to stop my screen and I have to show it in a different way. Guys, check this out. This is very important because if you understand this, because the scholar said that Muslimin after Uthman did have had no doubt whatsoever that this is the Quran that was revealed to Muhammad. Muslimin said that they had no doubt, no doubt that they will, they have any difference in the Quran. Now, if we look at it, the best surah of the Quran for the Muslimin is Surah Ikhlas. Surah Ikhlas is called Surah Ikhlas is called one fourth of the Quran. Uh, one fourth or one third. Because if you recite it three times, it will be equal to reciting the whole Quran. So one third. Yeah. Sorry. One third of the Quran. Because if you recite Surah Ikhlas three times, it is as if that you have recited the whole Quran. Unfortunately, you will not get these things in English. You will not. So you will have to bear with me on Arabic. I'm going to you have to bear with me in Arabic because this is what the early scholars stated and knew. And hence, we can surely say that the early scholars of Islam, early scholars of Islam had no doubt that the Quran is not preserved word by word, harf by harf, but they were only preserving some meaning of the Quran. Abdullah bin Masood, so Kulhu Wallahu Ahad, this is the first verse of Surah Ikhlas. Kulhu Wallahu Ahad. And I welcome any Muslim who can actually answer this. I have shown everything, now I'm showing you this, that how it is wrong. Recite three times, Andrew. Three times, three times. If you recite it three times, it will be reading the whole Quran, not four times, three times. Now, <clears throat> we have another Muslim. Come up and prove this wrong. The link is in the live stream already. Okay. Wakira Abdullah bin Masood, Abi bin Kaab. So, Abay bin Kaab, as we have known, it is the one who's, who is called the Qari of the Quran who is called Qari of the Quran, he said, when Allah Messenger said, Kulhu Wallahu Ahad, he said it without Kul. Hu Wallahu Ahad, Bagair Kul, without Kul. He said it without Kul. Hu Wallahu Ahad, Bagair Kul. 
Okay. This is Abdullah bin Masood is saying, and Saad bin Abi Kaab is saying. Wakara Nabi, Wakara al Nabi, the Kera of the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wahi an Abi Ibn Masood wa Abi bin Kaab, Ubay bin Kaab is Allahu Ahad Bagair Kul wa Bagair Hua. Without Kul, Kul means say, say that Allah is Ahad. Bagair say Kul, Bagair say, S A Y, and Bagair that. Just say Allah is Ahad. This is what this is saying. Now, if we go to the next point, call an Nabi, min kera, Allah ahad, fa inna hu yad al Quran al Ravi an Ashiva ibn Masud al Allahul Wahid. Now they are saying that according to Al Ashir wa Ibn Masud, it is not kulhu Allahu ahad, but it is Allahu al Wahid. So now they changed ahad into wahid because they know that ahad has a problem in itself because ahad does not encapsulates as divine oneness it is not one it is not one ahad does not encapsulates one that is why they are saying al wahid and this is in reality if allah is one in reality this is how the word should have been written allahu al wahid Allahu al Wahid, Allah is the one. This is how it should have been written. But it is not written this way. Right now, in the current Quran, it is written as Kulhu Allahu Ahad, Alif Hadal, instead of Alif Lam, Wow Alif Hadal. So this is the different. Ahad does means one of. Yes, thank you. Ahad means one of. Or if you take it from the Hebrew Ahad, still. It is not exactly one. If you want to say the one, it will be Allahu al Wahid. Wakira Umar bin al Khattab, the Caliph of Muhammad, Ibn Masood wa Rabi bin Hashim, according to Umar bin al Khattab and Ibn Masood wa Rabi bin Hashim, Amash Kulhu Allahu al Wahid. This is the right recitation. So imagine just one verse, imagine how many ways. How many ways you are reciting? Way number one. This is way number one. Kulhu Allahu Ahad. Way number two. Hu Allahu Ahad. Way number three. Allahu Ahad. Way number four. Allahu Al Wahid. Number five. Kulhu Allahu Ahad. Kulhu Allahu Al Wahid. Number six. Kulhu Allahu Al Wahid Samad. Number seven. And then Allahu Al Wahid Samad. Number eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, right? Eight different ways. And when you talk about Kulhu Allahu Al Wahidu Samad, imagine what you did. You actually added two verses into one verse. So Kulhu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad. These were two different verses, not just one. And they added two verses into one verse, compiled two verses into one verse, and they said Kulhu Allahu Al Wahidu Samad into one verse how many different ways how many different haroof did quran come in of and then when kara allahu al wahidu samad bagair kul without kul hu okay kala kurtabi and a sector sector allahu akhir allahu al wahidu samad is salat kul hu okay so he so imagine you have just one particular verse where you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight different variations of one particular verse. Imagine how many different variations one verse can be written. Then again, you are telling me that Quran is perfectly preserved. When your scholars are denying the fact even now, how can you actually proclaim that Quran is perfectly preserved? There is no way. There is no way. You can only do a tap dance. 
and that is what Muslimin does. They cherry pick. They will cherry pick this part. They will cherry pick that part. They will accept one hadith. They will reject the other hadith. They will pick one thing. They will pick the other thing. This one is right. This one is wrong. This is daif. This is sahih. Every hadith that we are showing is sahih. Uh, look, the first hadith. It is sahih. Second hadith. This is already sahih Muslim. Third hadith. Sahih Bukhari. Fourth hadith. Sunan an Nisai. Let's see if it is sahih or not. Sahih. Sixth. Let's see this one. Jami al Tirmidhi. Hassan. Okay, we can throw this if, if Hassan you don't like it. Sahih al Muslim. Again. Sahih al Bukhari. Again. Sunan ibn Daud. Let's see what this is. Sahih. So, how many hadiths will you going to demolish and destroy for the sake of your Allah? Whereas neither your Allah protected his Quran, nor you can say right now that anything was protected or preserved. And hence, when Allah says, in the, excuse me, indeed, in the nahnu zikra, indeed, we have revealed this and we are its guardian. It's an absolute lie. And that is why they have to say, no, Allah did preserve it. Because Allah could not preserve it. Quran 15.9. Let's go to Quran 15.9. Allah said, Inni nahnu zikra wa inni hafizun. Indeed, we who sent down the message, not Quran, message, zikr. And indeed, we will be its guardian. Allah becomes a liar. Allah becomes a liar. If. Because of this particular hadith, uh, Quranic ayah, A1, why don't you come up? Why do you want me to simplify? Why do you want to simplify in the text? Don't run away from the subject. Do not tap dance. We are showing the hadiths. We are showing everything. Come up with the links, with the right hadiths. Explain the hadiths, how Quran is preserved when Uthman burned everything and only preserved one dialect. And that dialect is already in Qurayshi dialect. And Uthman and the other guy were both speaking Qurayshi dialect. How can they be speaking two different references? So they were speaking two different words. What is this A1 doing? What does Matthew 59 has to do with the Ahruf of Quran? What does Matthew like? I have no idea of how these guys even have some brain. Do these Muslims have some brain? Do they like where is the brain? Where is their brain? I'm demolishing their Quran once and for all. I'm cutting the root. I'm destroying the stone, the rock on which Islam stands. And you guys have to, you guys cannot even defend the simplest argument. That the Quran is perfectly preserved. You guys cannot defend the most simplest argument that Quran is perfectly preserved. Okay, my link is pinned. Who wants to come up? Anyone. Anyone who is a who believes in anything can come up right now. It's an open offer right now. Come up. Stick to the topic. Do not change the topic, whether you're a Christian or a Muslim or a Jew or an atheist. Do not change the topic. Come up, ask a question, learn the answer, or if you need to share something, share. While you are on this topic, you can come up, whoever you are. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. Who is going to tell me in any way or form? That how this Quran is perfectly preserved. How? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to learn if somebody can tell me this. Yes, they are only. And plus, how can they defend this? They don't even have the answer. Like, do they have an answer? Do they literally have any answer? No. The link, the, the, 
this this no choice guy has to run in circles he has to he has to run in circle because he does not have the answer and that's the problem with these guys they don't have the answer and then they will run like a coward aisha was more mature than these people who laid down in front of muhammad and muhammad did what he was supposed to do that's what islam is let me grab some drink everyone is welcome everyone is welcome to come up everyone and anyone is welcome to come up Panic boom! Panic boom! Tiger uppercut, uppercut. You lose. Tiger uppercut, 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 uppercut. You lose. Round two. Uppercut, 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 uppercut. You lose. Hadouken, 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 Hadouken. You lose. Round three. Tiger uppercut, 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 uppercut. Hadouken. Uppercut, uppercut. You lose. Tiger uppercut, 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 uppercut. Hadouken. 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 Uppercut, 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 uppercut. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the commercial while I was away. Uh, this commercial was uh, sponsored by the Muslimin who are actually worshiping in a dancing way. Uh, the music was added by me. Uh, you could re you could hear the recitation of the Quran in the background while the music was playing so anyhow long story short uh i had to grab something to drink i was uh pretty exhausted uh so yeah you were you were looking at the worshiping from the uh from the Murshamil, um, muslim in this was commercial break <laughs> yeah this was commercial break all right so, so now I have my drink back. I have my voice back. So this is not Shia, Carolina. Come on, this is not Shia. These are all Sunnis. These are all Sunnis. None of them were Shias. None of them were Shia, sister. None of them. Not a single person who was dancing was Shia. They were all Sunnis. They were all Sunnis. All right. So let me go back. Quran states, and that is why Quran puts on itself a huge uh, burden and that is why these muslimin has to dance like that because quran itself on its quran puts on itself a huge burden if this verse was not in quran if this verse was not in quran they would not state what they are stating till now this is the verse which is destroying them this is the verse which is making them lie from the pit of hell that Quran is perfectly preserved. This is the verse. And uh, Adrena, uh, I'm going to upload it on my channel. It's not on any other channel. I edited it. I made the sound effects and everything in it. So it's not on any channel. It's it's my personal video. 
I just use it as a as a commercial break when I'm trying to get something. Uh, so that's uh, what it is. And the Steve Bill is Adam. How did Jesus leave the tomb? Quite frankly, what does Jesus leaving the tomb has to do with my discussion right now? Is there any correlation with Quran perfectly being preserved or not preserved has to do with Jesus leaving the tomb? Like by any mean, by any way, does there is is there any connection? By the way, your name is Steve, Bill. I assume you're either Christian or a Westerner. Like seriously, how does that connect to the Quran and perfectly preservation or Allah's stupidity in claiming that he is going to preserve the Quran and this? My friend, my brother, seriously, please stick to the topic. Please stick to the topic and so that we could finish the topic to not run in circle. I have no idea whether you are an atheist, Christian or whoever. When I open that topic, come up and talk. He walked. OK, so he walked, he flew, he did whatever. I don't care right now. That's the topic. Stick to the topic. If the Quran is perfectly preserved, if the Quran is perfectly preserved, then Uthman did not have to burn anything. Why did he burn? Why did he rewrite the one that I showed? Why did Uthman rewrote the Quran if the Quran is already perfectly preserved? Uthman did not have to rewrite anything. He did not have to rewrite anything because the Quran was supposed to be perfectly preserved. Number one. Number two, if the Quran is already in Sabah Ahruf, if the Quran is already in Sabah Ahruf, why Usman was under the effect in saying that different people have different Quran and Usman wants to re put it in one single way? Why? Does that make any sense to you at all? If it makes sense to anybody over here, let me know. But for me, it does not make any sense. Why? Let me show you the verse so that we could all read that verse correctly together. Not the verse, sorry. Uh, these uh, hadith. <sighs> Let's read this. Imagine in even showing this, they are going to. Let's go to. Hmm. OK, hold on. Let me go to this one because that would be better. Uh, okay. Show me what I want to see, you silly. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's read that. Okay. From Anas, who said. Hunaifa bin, uh, bin al-Yamama came to Uthman at the time when the people of Asham and people of al-Iraq were waging war to conquer Armea and Adribijan. Hudaifa saw there the people of Asham and al-Iraq different from the recitation of Quran. Asham and al-Iraq different from the recitation of Quran. So if the recitation of Quran was supposed to be already in Sabah Ahruf. If they were differing, why did Uthman or anybody have the problem? Because Quran was already there in seven Ahruf, Sabah Ahruf. You see the problem over here. So he said to Uthman, O commander of the believers, save this nation before they differ about the book as the Jews and Christians did before them. So did Jews and Christians have a difference hmm interesting so he the uthman 
sent a message to Hafsa saying, send us the manuscript so that we may copy them in the Mus'haf, ruler of Mus'haf, Mus'ahif. So, ruler of Mus'haf, a written copy of the Quran. So, imagine at the time of Uthman, there was already a copy written by Umar. And there is another hadith where Umar said to Abu Bakr that we are going to write the Quran. And Abu Bakr said, writing the Quran in a Mus'haf is a far greater task than removing this mountain from one location to another. But once again, I'm not going there. Check this out because this guy, the Mufti, this Mufti actually alluded to the rewriting of the Quran. So I am only working on that. Okay. So he rewrote the Quran. So why did not he use the Musaf that was laying under the pillow of Hafsa already? Why did he not use that? Why did he not use the Mus'haf which was already with Hafsa, which was written at the time of Umar. Did Uthman had to change something in it? It's a simple logic. If this Quran of Uthman is not supposed to change anything, he could just take the Musaf of Hafsa and just rewrite it without any difference. Why did he do that? So now check. Send us the manuscript so that we may copy them in the Musafin. Then we shall return it to you. So Hafsa sent the manuscript to Uthman bin Alafan. Uthman then sent order for Zaid bin Tabat. Guy number one. Zaid bin Tabat. Zaid bin Al As, Abdul Rahman bin Al Huraitha bin Hisham, and Abdullah bin Az Zubair. Four people, four people to copy the manuscript in the Musaf, Musahif, sorry, ruler of Musaf. Uthman said to three Quraysh men, to the three Quraysh men, in case you disagree with Zaid bin Tabat on any point of the Quran, then write it in the dialect of Quraysh. So when Umar wrote the Quran of Umar that was with Hafsa, that was brought to Umar, to Uthman, was that not in the Qurayshi dialect? Was that not in the Qurayshi dialect? Like, do you think Umar was not a Qurayshi? Like, imagine, none of these narratives make sense. And that is exactly why Yasir Qadi said, there are holes in the narrative. That's exactly why he said that. Exactly, CT. Why did Uthman need to have a committee? Why Uthman needed to have a committee anyways? So, for it was in their tongue. So, Umar had, Umar, for the love of God, come on, Umar was also Quraishi. So, when they had copied the manuscript, Uthman sent one Musaf of these Musaf. So, they have copied it to every province. Al-Zuhri said, Hiraj bin Zaid, narrated to me that Zaid bin Tabat said, I missed an ayah of the Surah Ahzab that I heard the messenger of Allah reciting. Among the believers are men who have been true to their covenant with Allah. Of them, some of them have fulfilled their obligation and some of them are still waiting. 33.23. Now my question is, if you are only copying from the Musaf of Hafsa, which was written at the time of Umar, how can you talk about a missing verse that was in recitation? So what you are proclaiming right now is that the Musaf of Hafsa, which was written by Umar, was not a full Quran. It was not a full Quran. It was not. You can see that over here. So the Hafsa, the Musaf written by Umar was not the same that was written by Uthman. So Uthmanic Quran had different variations in it. As we can see, one of the variations, because people are talking about, we don't know. There was a verse there. One guy said, I'm going to use this verse. So I searched for it and found it with Khuzaima bin Tabad or Abu Khuzaima. 
So I put it in the Surah Az Zuhri. Said they differed with then with Atoba, At Tabut, and Atoba. The uh, the Quraysh said At Tabut, while Zaid said At Toba. Their disagreement was brought to Uthman. So he said, write it at a tabut. Guys, you see what's happening. The final judge is Uthman. So the final judge is Uthman. Was Uthman a prophet? Who the hell gave him the authority to do whatever? For it was revealed in the tongue of Qurayshi. Bloody hell. So the rest of the people are who? As Zuhri said, Ubaidullah bin Abdullah bin Sakta informed me that Abdullah bin Masood disliked Zaid bin Tabat copying the Musaf and said, Oh, you people, I am removed from recording the transcription of Musaf and it is overseen by a man by Allah. See, so there were disagreements when I accepted Islam, but he was but in the lines of the disbelieving men. So the guy is saying that I don't want to accept his narrative. Because when I was a Muslim, when I was a Muslim, this guy was just a baby. And he was in a he was a kafir. Meaning, Zaid bin Tabat was a kafir. How can he hold the authority over me? And it was regarding this that the Abdullah bin Masood said, Oh, people of Al Iraq, keep the mus musahif that are with you and conceal them. For indeed Allah said, and whoever conceals something, he shall come with what he concealed on the day of judgment. So meet Allah with the Musahif. As Zuhri said, it was conveyed to me that some men among the most virtuous of them, the companions of the Messenger of Allah, disliked the view of Al Mas'ud. So now, even the four people that were having and doing all these things, they were disagreeing with, with each other. And they had no knowledge what they are doing. And they were fighting with each other since the very beginning. Since the very beginning, they were fighting with them. And they had, they had no consensus. Yet, this Quran that was written by Uthman on the orders of Uthman, not a single Muslim right now have it. I challenge any Muslim to give me the complete Musaf of Uthman right now. They cannot do that. Carbon dated back to the Uthmanic time. One complete Musaf of Quran written by Uthman. One. Is that a fair ask or not? Because Allah says, indeed, it is we who sent out the message and indeed we will be its guardian. That's what Allah said. Now, if Allah is, is the guardian, why can he not preserve one complete Musaf of Quran? Whereas, right now, Christians and Jews have the Dead Sea Scrolls perfectly preserved, carbon dated, even 400 to 600 years BCE. Why can these Muslimin? So you have something preserved from the last 2500 years give or take a couple of hundred years 2500 years but none of the muslimin has a perfectly preserved quran from the last 1400 years so we have the papers the parchments however you may like to pronounce it excuse my pronunciation present from the last 2400 2500 years but these muslimins do not have it from the last 1400 years imagine that yet they have the issues of the saba ahruf they have the issues of multiple dialects multiple i won't even say seven dialects multiple dialects they have the issue of ahruf they have the issues of all of these things but they have to proclaim it is perfectly preserved quran because of this one verse if you would just remove this verse from the quran if you would just remove this verse of the quran the muslim life is much easier just by removing this 
because then they would not have to say that Quran is perfectly preserved harf by harf, letter by letter. They would not have to do that. Yes, God ate the Quran as well. I know that. But I'm not even going there. I'm not even going there. Imagine I'm giving so many leaves, leaves over here because dude, if, like I've done so many videos on, on this already. I'm giving leaves. But once again, that's the basic problem. Okay. How does consonant text of the Quran affect its transmission? How is it possible to dialects without vowels? Thank you. Yes. You cannot even make a dialect without the vowel. And we already read that there were Uthman. Uh, so, by the way, the narrative is Uthman deliberately did not added vowels, diacritical marking, or the dots. So, without dots, you can't even have dialects. So, once again, the early Quran. It's not about the dialects, it's about the haruf, the words. The words. And that's why I, I showed you this. Surah al ihzab chapter number 33, ayah number 68. Is it kasiran, lana kasiran? Does Allah send a curse? Many curse, not a, many curse, kasiran, many curse. Does Allah send many curses? Or does Allah send a bigger curse, kabiran? Does Allah send a big curse or does Allah send a, a, uh, sorry, not a, does Allah send a big curse or does Allah send many curses? You see, that is the problem when you do not have the dots and when the dots were added 300 years, 250, 300 years later. By the way, Allah sends curses. Imagine that. Do you think Allah has to send curses? Why would Allah send curses? Like, why would Allah need to send curse? Why can't just Allah remove the person? But anyhow, long story short. Does Allah send many curses? Or does Allah send one big curse? That's the problem. Because you can put the dot down here, make it a ba. Or you can put three dots up here, it will make it a sa. So it will become a kasiran, means many. Or if you put the dot down here, it will become kabiran, which means big. So does Allah send a big curse or does Allah send many curses? These are two different musaf of Quran. This is this becomes two different musaf of Quran. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and the repent says LOL. <laughs> Yeah, it is laughable, quite frankly. It is laughable, but it's the reality as well. Uh, and yes, Carolina, Allah is a big hater. He sends big curses or many curses. <laughs> All right, guys, seems like no choice finally was uh, removed. Uh, he is nothing more than a troll, as we have seen. And... Uh, if there is any question that I missed, now is the time to ask uh, or I will going to end the stream right now. Okay, you enjoyed it. Hey, Epi. Yes, enjoyed it. I like Asim Hakim. <laughs> okay, yes, perfect. I loved his video. I'm going to share this video to you guys as well. This is a gold mine that he said. I would ask everyone to just save it so that because I know very soon he will remove it from his channel because what he proclaimed, a lot of people will going to kick his butt and he might have to remove it. So by the way, I saved it and I would like you guys to save it as well because the statements that he made in this video, I don't think he will. it will going to last over there. I personally, I might be wrong. I'm not a prophet, but I personally do not think it's going to last. Okay. Uh, any other question over here? Thank you, repent for the blessing. Lord bless you as well. Allah comes in. Yeah, I don't know where Allah comes, brother. Allah is Allah is potato, you know, potato, potato, and uh, exactly that's how different cults were started. Islam is nothing more than a cult of Muhammad and Muhammad did not know what he was saying. He was using, I don't know what. 
what was the URL that guy sent? Okay, this is the URL. This is the URL of Islam Q and A. There you go, guys. Joseph, John Joseph, thank you so very much. Love you, brother. God bless you. Uh, you can write Urdu. Go to my Urdu channel as well and do sus subscribe that. Last time I did uh, Allah Shaitan hai uh, Quran ki ruh se. So Joseph, you you must subscribe to my Urdu channel, brother. Uh, Aren't a roof made by a vowel or dialect? No, 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 Karen Thomason, no. A roof and dialects are two different things. That's what I've been saying. That's what I've been showing. You need to go and read, watch. If you haven't been there since the beginning, you have to watch from the beginning. Um, you can script, skip when the troll comes up. That's a BS. But that's what I'm saying. A roof means letters, words. Let me show you. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Hold on. Hold on. So that let's answer this before we end this. So a haruf. Harufun. 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 I hope you can hear that. So haruf. Haruf means letters. Letters makes words. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. If you make, if you change a harf, if you change a word, if you change a letter, it makes a different word. So the Mufti actually described it as, instead of saying, uh, I think he said, come or get here. I think that's the example that he used. He used the example of come and get here. Uh, these are two different words. But once again, if you look at the Quran, it's not always synonyms because like I showed you, like I showed you already. Can anybody tell me if Kabir and big is equal to many? Are they similar words? No, they are not similar words. Kabiran versus Kasiran. Kasiran means many. Kabiran means bigger. So if Kabir, big and Kasir many is not a synonym word as well. Because when you say come or get here, the example that this Mufti gave, that they, the meaning is almost the same. It's not the same. I'm showing you one example. They are not the same. Because Kasiran means many and Kabiran means big. The meaning is not the same as well. They are two different meanings. And that's what I'm saying. By the way, this is also one particular URL of Quran, which is called N Quran. And the beauty of this is that you will have nine different Musaf of Quran in one single website. So when you search for a verse, you will receive all of the variations of different Musaf of the Quran in one single location. Okay, so you can actually be very creative of this particular URL website. So you should use that. Okay. So this is like it has many other things as well. Wow. OK. Wow. Good. Good. OK. So here when you select a verse, you will actually have which version you want. You want Hafs and Asim, which is the most dominant Quran. Kaloon, Versh, Versh and Nafe, Al-Bayzi, uh, Kambal, Dawiri, Asayusi, Hisham, Ibn Zakun, Shibi and Asim, Half. Khalad, Abu Haris, Al Dawidi, even so, you have you have multiple multiple ishaq, you have multiple multiple Quranic Musaf in one single website. So this website is very good website. You guys should all have it. That's why I shared it. So even the meaning of the words are different, and that is why I say there are, and that is why not I. That is why uh, Yasir Qadi actually said there are holes in the narrative so guys thank you so very much for watching thank you so very much everyone for your super chats thank you so very much use these stuff use these items use these links destroy this idiotic cult because you have no idea what they do to humans you have no idea what they do to humans you have no idea what they say and that is why 
we should do our part. We should do our part. God bless you all. God bless you all. Yeshua Akbarul Azim because there is only one God and one Lord Jesus who is Akbar and Azim. No one else is Akbar other than Jesus. No one else is Azim other than Jesus. He is Akbar. He is Azim. Al Masihu Akbar. Take care, guys. God bless you all. Have a blessed day, evening, or night, wherever you are.